So we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to get a bit of voiceover over what we're going through. So this is the Oshoot uh, Trail at Blue Mountain. I think the trail should probably be called Oshit. We've gone down the filter and gone actually gone around it. We're going to drop in now to the actual run. Uh, this may look like a little bit of a hill, but my god, it's like a drop uh, right down a wall. On this day it was kind of muddy up because it had rained the day before, actually three, a couple days before, and the collector was a mud pit. And some sections of the ocean were a bit greasy. Working our way through the trail. You know, I'm kind of new with this whole mountain biking uh, downhill thing, so it's not going exactly fast per se. going around the rock garden. I don't know why I do that. Just probably just to go over it. It's just uh, it's not hard. Second, second section of clearing, which is a bit uh, loose. Downhill section is starting to get a bit greasy. I'm trying to stay off the front brake as much as I can. This is where it gets really steep, really fast. I suppose if I were doing jumps, it'd be a lot better. Look, look a lot better. Come down the rudy section. I always wonder if it'd be better to go up up top there and go around it. And get caught up. Fuck. You know, one of the best things about uh, downhill is that it's pretty much required you wear a full face helmet, um, pads, and body armor, and all that kind of stuff. Because going down this hill here, for example, is very very steep, uh, hard to control your speed, and then of course I end up washing out my front wheel. Going down, and if this were an XC ride, I'd probably be uh, in pain or hurting. But, you know, just get up again and uh, come on bike and start going. No big deal. This full front brake, that was the problem. Fun part is dropping in this berm and the two jumps. And the trail. <laughs> 